Hey everyone, my name is Jared. Welcome to my channel review, The One. And today we're talking about music and how to get copyright free, DMCA free music on your live streams, YouTube content, Twitch streams, whatever you need to do. I have the solution today and it's really, really simple. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to pretzel.rocks. I'll leave a link in the description box below and you'll land on this page and you can see immediately this is stream safe music for live streamers. And the way this works is uh, artists can upload their music to be used uh, copyright free. Artists will get 100% ownership of the music and which will potentially reach more fans because streamers will be using their music. You will connect Pretzel to your Twitch account or to your Google account. And when you do go live, Pretzel will appear in your chat to tell you and your viewers what song is currently playing. So there's a bit of promotion going both ways. You get a better experience for your fans and the fans get to meet more artists. So first thing you want to do is hit download for Windows or for Mac, or you can also play in the browser as well. Completely up to you. I recommend downloading it as it's a lot easier. And let's go see what it looks like. When you first land on Pretzel Rocks, you'll be prompted to log in through Twitch, which will connect your both accounts together, which I've done. You'll see your Twitch appear at the bottom. So mine is review the one uh, link to that in the description box below. So you see the layout is very similar to like a Spotify thing. There is a premium option where you can directly support artists uh, with more interactive streaming, making your own different playlists. Uh, for me, I'm still using the free version, but the idea of making custom playlists is super, super cool. When you go into artists on the side here, you can see already a lot of music that appears and there's like thousands of hours of music on this thing. There is so much music on here of different genres for any type of stream. So I recommend exploring it. Personally, where I like to go and when I went to first was the option for labels. So on labels here, you already start to see some, maybe some familiar, um, you know, if you've been you trying to find royalty free music, copyright free music on YouTube, you may notice 99 lives, you may no notice NCS for no copyright sounds. Clicking on any, any of these labels will show you the entire back catalog of this label who have, and all the music that they've been attributed to that, that you see on YouTube. And when you play it, it literally plays like it's on Spotify. You hit play and then the music will start to play in the background. It's as simple as that. And this you can have on the background of your stream. You can toggle it on and off and have music just going and going and going without having worry about a potential copyright uh, strike, a DMCA takedown request or anything. The music here is free for you to use. So this is why Pretzel Rocks for me is such a great solution. Getting um, Pretzel Rocks or music into your stream is exactly the same process as how you've probably been doing it with Spotify or with YouTube Music. You literally go to Streamlabs. You're gonna go to Source here and you're going to add an audio output capture. Um, in this case, I label one for Spotify. We can label a new one for Pretzel. This will pick up your desktop audio. And it will appear here. You see Pretzel has appeared there. And all you've got to start doing now, and you'll see it starts to appear. You hit play, and it already starts playing. Adjust the audio when you go with your stream, interact with your chat. You can always test by hitting the record button to test the audio of how loud it is. You can also hear the music as well through your headphones too, but it really is that easy to get safe music onto your stream. And it's some really good stuff in here. A lot of genres, a lot of different things. And one thing I wanted to quickly point out as well is that you can also um, look for instrumentals. You can also look for uh, music that you know that, that is not mature in case you're doing an all audience stream. Um, you can look at music that um, is for YouTube safe mode, uh, not interactive. I mean, like there's so much stuff that you can do here. Uh, but for me, the most um, useful thing is looking strictly for instrumentals where there's no lyrics um, and making sure you can filter out songs that have bad words in it as well. Because, you know, you don't want songs with bad words appearing on your PG stream. Uh, so this allows full customization for you to do that. All you have to do is click it and it will adjust the songs to make sure that they are meeting your expectations. So look, that's it. It's a really, really quick process to get copyright free music on your stream. I've been using Pretzel Rock now for the last sort of month on my streams as a bit of intro music, outro music, midway through the stream. And just being able to toggle it on and off and not have to worry about it, it just takes a lot of stress off my mind. Um, go grab it completely free um, and let me know what you think, what music you using in your streams. Are there, are there any other options that you found out there as well? Let me know. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I really appreciate it for your help and I'll be uploading sort of these tip, tips and tricks videos. Uh, try and do this like once a week. So thank you for your support and I'll hopefully see you on the streams.